Glory to God. Welcome again to another episode of Know His Word with Bakar Eluagbenga. Today, this morning, we're going to look at Genesis chapter 20, verse 17. Genesis chapter 20, verse 17. I'll begin to explain to you the mystery of Palal. Palal in prayers. Palal in the spirit. All right. We got the word Palal from Genesis chapter 20, verse 17. For those that know the story of Genesis chapter 20, is the story of how Abraham and Sarah went to Habimelech for Sukkot. And after which, Abraham said to Abimelech that Sarah was his sister, which was the truth. So in that context, we, we have many people that perceive or think that Abraham lied. Abraham never lied. Abraham was actually saying the truth. And like I said, according to historical uh, political marriages in those days in the Near East, they have to do something, especially when you are an alien in a particular location. You are, you are, sub, you are meant to, to give out your daughter to the king of that land like a diplomatic relationship that will give you a cover to stay in that location so that was the heart abraham was going through or abraham did as at that time so he's carefully our uh, focus this morning is verse 17 where the bible says and abraham prayed unto god and god healed habimelech and his wife and his maid servant and they were and they bear children do you see that because the, for the Bible says, at the moment Abimelech took Sarah, the Lord shut the womb of all the, you know, of the women in the house, all the women in the house of Abimelech, and many other things that God did. But my attention this morning is the word prayed. For those using King James Version, in verse 17, the word prayed. The word prayed here is the Hebrew word palal. And palal here is used as a verb, not as a noun. As a verb, are you get what I'm saying? So for it to be a verb, it simply means that there are core activity expressed in the verb, palad. There are core activity expressed in the in the verb called palad. So it's interesting that if you see the word prayed in the prayed in uh, in the in the book of Psalms, in the book of Proverbs, it might not be the same word for prayed in like we're saying in Genesis here. So I'm interpreting this thing based on the context. Based of, on the context of verse 17, Abraham prayed. So, palal is a verb. So, which shows that the core activity expressed in the verb is to discern. To discern. I proceed. To make distinction between things or people. Alright? It also means to present a situation to someone who does the discern. And for those that do not know what the discern means, to discern means to see. The, to be able to see. To be able to recognize, to be able to understand, do you see that? To be able to decide, decide something. So, this, it is just beyond, Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way. No, we need to understand the core activity behind Abraham's prayer. So, it was not just an ordinary prayer. It was a prayer of discernment. Do you see that? Abraham had to discern. Abraham had to see. Do you see that? Abraham had to work in his discernment to, di to discover what was wrong in the house of Abimelech. And as the Bible stated, he discovered that the women, the women in the house are barren. Do you see that? And they began to pray according to discernment. So this is an easiest way you can pray as a believer. You don't need to pray without direction. Do you see that? Our prayer must be guided with discernment. Now listen carefully, why am I showing you all these things this morning? Is because the Bible says we're going to observe God's way of life in Abraham. God's way of life is observed in Abraham. And here we can say that Abraham did not just pray ordinarily. Abraham was able to discern. Hallelujah. The same word I'm giving to you this morning, put it to work. When you pray on any issue, the first work you do is to discern. Work with your discernment. When you discern the will of God for what you are praying for, it will guide you in a better light to pray. Hallelujah. And right now as I'm talking to you right now, I discern right now, that there is one person listening to me, listening to me right now, there is a need of healing. I pronounce your healing today. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And another one I'm discerning right now, 
for someone to have a financial challenge before the end of this week, expect a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Halibo kosiataba. Lendo ko suprahanda kasunto niyana manda. For someone that needs to express joy unspeakable again. Joy. You have been sad for a while. Hear this carefully. Before the end of this day, your joy is, being, is restored. Do you see that? The joy of your heart is restored. The joy of your heart is refreshed again and again. In the name of Jesus. And many more, many more. Walk in your discernment this morning and see the move of God working without stress. Do you see that? So the most pro challenges we have as believers is that we don't walk in discernment in prayer. So we keep praying, we keep praying without sight. Do you see that? You need to begin to pray with sight. And you begin to see God working on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Till I come away again next week, stay blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.